In this video on the history of astronomy, you will learn about some of the early models of the solar system. The first model is known as the geocentric or Ptolemaic model. In this model, the Earth is at the center of our planetary system and everything orbits around it. This includes our Moon, the Sun, and planets. The Earth is stationary and each of the planets orbits from east to west on a daily basis with slightly different speeds. These different speeds result in the planets drifting slowly from west to east relative to the celestial sphere behind. When the planets drift from west to east, it is known as prograde motion. However, for most of the planets, it has been observed that on occasions they reverse course for a while and drift from east to west. This backwards motion is referred to as retrograde. To explain this discrepancy, ancient Greeks proposed a system of epicycles. A planet is pinned on a small orbit known as an epicycle, the center of which is what is orbiting the Earth. In this model, retrograde motion is caused by the motion of the planet in a reverse direction around its epicycle. An alternate explanation for the motions in our solar system is the heliocentric model. This was first proposed by a minority of ancient Greek astronomers, but then was not rediscovered until about 2000 years later by Polish astronomer Nicolaus Copernicus. In this model, it is the Sun rather than the Earth that is at the center of our planetary system. The Earth is just another planet 
also orbiting the sun. The only object orbiting the Earth is our moon. Retrograde motion is then explained by the planets orbiting the sun at different speeds. Planets closer to the sun orbit at higher speeds. When they pass another planet, the outer planet will appear to be moving backwards relative to the background celestial sphere. Unfortunately, 16th century astronomy did not have the observational finesse to distinguish between the two models. In fact, even Copernicus had to admit this, and he kept revising his model by placing the sun and the orbits of the planets off-center and reintroducing epicycles. It wasn't until the 17th century that German mathematician and astronomer Johannes Kepler used accurate observational data to deduce the true shape and nature of planetary orbits.